It's the 1st of April, ha ha, pinch punch, 1st of the month, we can't do that now because it's 6 o'clock. Somebody told me to do an April Fool's video, so I did a video, I didn't find it very funny, I hope you enjoyed it, but as we sit here tonight, it is time to actually quite sadly say goodbye to Cream and Brown Henry, along with the eBay hard floor brush and see how he's got on and show you what we're going to use this month. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yeah, Phoenix hasn't really liked Heavy very much, have you, Squidgy? No, I don't think you'd like the noise from him because, yes, he does not sound like he should now, does he? Oh, are you going to want to be all, all Squidgy look on camera? Oh, yeah. Oh, who knows? You might like the next vacuum even more. Yes, he's been quite noisy, bless him, through no fault of his own. They're just, you know, it's a cheapy, cheapy motor, isn't it? Yeah, you come up on me. That, so I can have both my hands free and we'll take off the incorrect... Oh, no, don't, don't go up there because it'll make everything vibrate and look awful. And we'll take off the tools, which, as we know, actually do come from RGB Henry. So he can have those back in a minute and we'll actually start with this because yes it is a, a very terrible carpet brush but it's a very good hard floor brush indeed the rubber strip tore off on one side i had to snap it off because it was going into there and stopping this from spinning the wheels are fine i did put a little bit of tape over the hole to see if it helped but it didn't at all it is very nice for the hard floor it's ish for the carpet you know i've only got the one rug so it's not the end of the world to just push it over three times you know i've already got carbon dust all over it get off the camera birdie all over it anyway let's have a look at henry you're gonna come? no you're not gonna have a look at henry go away or come here and be cute come on look step up no you're not trained that well, are you? Underneath the inside of him is absolutely spotless, as one would expect. And in here, the bag has leaked a little bit, look, and left a couple of marks. But equally, it's still bright enough that I've had to change the settings on my camera so that you can see the bag shouldn't actually be that full. Primarily because I have changed it. It, 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 it was very full. And yeah, there's a nice bit of dirt in there already. And I think I'm not going to refit the bag, primarily because I know it's not really been used. But I might not use Henry for a while, and I don't like them sitting with you know dirt in them. You will note there is a cable in here. Yes, there is. This came off of a Hetty I had ages ago. And it sits in here so that it is safe and sound because the problem with cream and brown henry is that his original brown cable as you know is very short i mean it's been quite nice actually at home because i've not been in a long table that is plenty for doing my my, my house it's why corners work so well here. but to see if i wanted to take henry out on the adventure that would get very tiring very quickly that's why i just kept that cable in there so that i can plan ahead whip it changed and we can you know put the brown cable away and let's have a long cable to get on with things so that is yeah, cream and brown henry in all of his usual fine glory really let me show you what we're going to use for the month of april and it is a complete curveball now if we just take henry away yes no do not forget it is after midday on april the first no the vacuum that i'm going to use is a complete curveball because until yesterday at three o'clock i didn't own it 
No, I didn't. So I'm going to sit here and read the instruction manual and note that I can use this vacuum cleaner for hard and soft floors. It has built-in tools. What is it? Well, there's the manual for said vacuum cleaner. There is a bag for said vacuum cleaner. The warranty department going to Maneaton. I never knew Electrolux were there. Must have been long farmed out by this point. Oh yes, we have. Thanks to Mr. Jake, actually, for giving me this in a, do you want this? And I went, okay. And here we go. I'm going to use this pretty much unused Electrolux power system. 1500 watts for the month of April. It's an April Fool's joke to myself because, you know, I've had a pretty easy year so far. We've had Henry. Poor Henry. We had Black for Master. That was bliss in itself. And then I had a Mina C3, which of course going to be perfect. Oh no, it's time to time to start with the silly vacuums. And yeah, this came in yesterday. Bless him, Mr. Jake came and gave me some lovely things, including this book, which I really must scan in. The Hoover story. But inside of it, look, ah, uh, this is obviously a draft. Because all over the pages, look, there's little notes. Obviously, and somebody's gone through it, copied it, copy by copy, and checked it. And I presume this was never really printed. Printed in the Mr. Richard Butler must have had to make some events. So yeah, Mr. Jake gave me that. He gave me something else which will be its own video and something else which I've already got rid of. But this deserves a look at because yes, I think it is brand new or at least with very, very little use. Now this is from an era of Electrolux that I basically ignored the heck out of. But yeah, I'd have been 10, but I wouldn't have been 10. Blimey. Okay, these are older than I thought. So this is the problem when I when you don't follow things religiously. You sort of you lose track of when things are. Blimey, this thing is twenty years old. I my last car was as old as this. Bless it. So okay, that that's quite cool. It's very very robust. It's got a very nice handle with controls. Look, so we can turn it on and then have it on some more. Well, oh, no. on ah. Ooh, that's a little bit. Who knows? We have a bag full indicator there, and yeah, this is astonishingly spotless. I haven't touched this. I literally have not touched this. It has a bag fitted, obviously. I think Mr. Jake has used it fair enough. But yeah, if we look inside, look, it is absolutely immaculate. Bless it, which is really, really astonishing. So yeah. Ah, we better put a bag back in. Although we don't have to put a bag back in because this, this makes more sense now. 1997, picture the vacuum cleaner sort of landscape, if you will. That Mr. Dyson's got his DCO4 out and it is literally smashing everything in its path. And, you know, bags, pa, we don't want bags. What we want is the worst solution to a problem that they should have just ignored is a complete i think it's not even an ox or extra if it was this is a high-end model eh? is that this is obviously the high-end model because look using your cyclone cassette your cyclone cassette is particularly suitable for more heavy duty vacuuming no folks it is more suitable for no vacuuming at all and yeah, you can. Look, it's now a Dyson competitor. Oh my goodness, I hate these. I hate them, but it's it's so cool that this was the solution that they came up with. I mean, it doesn't even fit properly. There's gaps everywhere. The idea is you put that whole thing in there, and then it basically just turns, obviously, they then use this design after this and built it into a cleaner, of which I have, actually somewhere it's a so unfinished look there's no cover on it all the screw heads are molten and whatnot it has dust in it i don't really want to use it because it will get the rest of the machine 
filthy, but yeah, that is 1997's answer to the competition which was tearing up the established vacuum cleaner rule. Basically, that to stop being lazy, we have our E43 bag, which I'm going to keep because I can't help but flow this because it's ever so slightly not round. The reason I can tell it's so clean is because this is the post motor filter look and um, yeah there is no dirt on that at all even in here look it is pretty pretty spotless so i am no rush to make that dirty by using that dreadful cyclone cassette system at all back's quite interesting as well look, we got an orange accent which let's make it faster we can take off the very very long hose and I don't know if I can twist this yes I can look and you can have even more hose does it come out completely I should probably read the manual but yeah look you get a again fully you know the glider which would have come before this and the contour have the stupid little hoses this is a full I'd imagine we'll test it hose and yes going back to more evidence of its lack of use and the tools do fit oh my over the top which leads me on to the tools which again i've had a quick look at this is the older design you know i could pick up my electrolux automatic 345 crevice tool but it fits on the top which is mind-blowing so we actually don't need to care about that what we want to see look is the lack of wear on the outside of the crevice tool. I don't think this has been used. We have a sporting probably the use it's had. Horrible, hateful dusting brush again fits on there nicely and yeah they store very nicely on the cleaner itself. It's really rather jolly. On this side we just have two extent well an extension one to obviously have your extensions and yep not a drop of wear on it at all so yeah this is basically why i thought you know what we'll use this for vacuum of the month because it's something that i wouldn't have really picked up it's not it doesn't really interest me that much but hey never look a gift horse in the mouth and experience something and you know it was good enough in 1990 i bet these are probably of 165 170 pounds worth of premium bagged vacuum cleaner so hey it was, somebody obviously liked it i just hate that it looks like you know the old when you see old ladies and bless them their feet are just all swollen that's what that's what that reminds me of we release the ridiculously tiny for such a massive massive cleaner recline pedal and all pulling the cushions off my sofa as we go look like ow show you under here which is as bad as it looks i mean it's got a floating base plate and the brushes aren't terrible you know they're quite stiff some nice edge cleaning bristles here oh, bless it bless it bless it bless it here is the ratings plate made in britain so 97, this would have been a fairly late one from, in fact, yes, look, because it's here, look, it's still got its royal warrant, so they hadn't completely just given up on everything by this point. So, all that really is left is for me to plug it in, have it turn on by itself. Now, there is no, and I just feel very first world problem here, and... Got to forgive, call that you can see the mess behind me. There's nowhere to hang the cord. It literally comes out of there, and that's it. So okay, fair enough. Let us use the vacuum cleaner on this rug because yeah, it it I haven't really vacuumed today, and I have been very busy. So let's do some cleaning. <laughs>
it's a bit of a tale of two halves because when it's good, it's really quite good. And if I bring you over to here, look, you can see that it is leaving track marks. <laughs> the late 90s, the era when as long as your machine looked a bit different to all the rest, I mean, how long? In 1997, I mean, you walk into an electricity board showroom or your department store and that would have been on sale, not, not this exact turbo power, but you'd have had Hoover Turbo Power was the very last of them running around that time. What else would we have? We would probably start to just mm, a couple of years before you got your white writing but top switch Henry what else have I got over in the corner of rubbish ah yes I mean I suppose it's quite fitting really if I can distract it without things falling everywhere the the main thing if not this is a future project I'm going to try and replace that bit before I go any further on this I'm going to show you all but the DC04 literally would have that is why in fact all history lesson children this is before Hoover got their bums sued off of them by Dyson for the wind tunnel yeah you're going vacuum cleaner shopping in Q1 1998. What are you going to choose? Yeah, of course you would. And that's what makes this such fun. I would have chosen the Dyson as well. But this month... Oh, ah, wow, don't break. Uh, I'm not going to use this for dirt. But yeah, I, I certainly don't want it damaged. I mean, look, we'll turn it on. <laughs> Awesome, there we go, we turned it on. Yeah, I'm going to be using it bagged because bagged is better, especially, you know, I'm, this is, they call this a cyclone look. It's, it's, it's not, it's barely a bin. As I think you've seen, in fact, I've got some other bagless ones to show you, can't you? 
I need to get my bum into here. Well, fits the lovely paper bag and put the lovely bag door back on. Because, yes, it's time to start being silly. Are we going to be silly with an Electrolux Power System 1500? Because why the devil not? So, have you ever had one of these? I don't think I've ever seen one for sale, even used. I remember them being out and new. But I don't remember, you know, well, I've never seen one at the car booth. It's the sort of thing that I probably would have picked up for a fiver. But equally, I bet that glossy front just gets destroyed. Bless it in you. So, let's see how I survive a month with one of Luton's last, gotta be one of the last of the British cleaners in 97. Comment below if you know any different, but... Until the next normal video, hi, and this Electrolux, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.